Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you a digital clock, um, this alarm is still in the works, but a digital clock that I made using Python. So, um, the code, it's actually simpler than I thought it would be. And here, this is kind of cool, I saw it from another uh, source code for another project, and it was basically you try it's support for both python 2 and 3 you try to import uh the module name t uh t kinter with a capital t but that's not the same in python 3 that's not the module name so you try it and if that doesn't work if it gets an import error then you go and import it with the lowercase which is what it is for python 3 so that, it worked for both Python 2 and Python 3. And then all this code, if you would like a tutorial for it, then I can um, make a tutorial. Just let me know down in the comments section below. But this is all like the workings of the clocks. This is more like uh, Kinter Basics. Um, T. Kinter, I believe it's pronounced, I don't really know. So yeah, let's go ahead and run it. And when we run it, you can see we have a live clock that takes the time from your PC and basically just displays it. Um, typically, uh, the text isn't this big or the window isn't this big, this I had to learn. There's a root.geometry, uh, where root is my uh, window, so you could set the dimensions of your window, and you could set the like font size right there. So it was a cool learning experience for me, and it was a fun project. So if you guys would like to learn how to do it, I can show you how to do it. Just let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe so to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and goodbye.